Hey there, Chris Wells here and today I'm going to share with you the ability to record voiceover directly and seamlessly onto your timeline here in Lightworks. And I thought the best way to show that is with a silly little fight scene. So here we go. I've got a silly little scene here of two men. I've got a nice bit of room tone. And then here it comes, wait for it to kick in. I'm not gonna lie, the fighting is a bit disappointing, but that's okay, you know? These people were giving it their best, and it definitely wasn't a choreographed thing, but that doesn't matter. But what we'll see is we've got the nice little, you know, three, two, one, and fight, and I feel like, you know, it's missing something. It's missing that voice, and we know we could go off and pay for a professional sound effect or a good recording or something like that, or we can record it and do it ourselves here in Lightworks. And that's what I'm gonna do today. And it's very easy, you can record anything. And in fact, it's just as easy as pressing this button right here. And once you press it, you'll see you get your audio levels and that's in fact the microphone that I'm talking to you on right now, whether I talk really quietly or really loudly, it goes up and down. It tells you the target, so what track it's gonna go on. At the minute it's on auto, which we don't really want. It's always best practice to put your voice over on a separate track so you can keep track of it all as well as your pre-roll which is basically just a three second build up before it starts recording so you can kind of get into the right flow of things so what i'm going to do if you press auto because at the minute there isn't a mono track because both of these are stereo tracks that's the room tone and the fight music are both stereo so it will make a new mono track but what I want to do, I want to beat it to it. So there we go. Got a new mono track up here. And in fact, if I go record a new voiceover again and click track, you'll see now there is the ability to record it straight onto that track. So if you do have a mono track, you'll be able to record it to whichever track you want to do. So obviously, if you've been recording this a few times, you can always record your voiceover to the same track if you're stopping and starting. So that's all you need to do to get started. So there's gonna be a pre-roll of three seconds. The mic level looks okay to me, so that looks good. But yeah, that's the correct device, but I can click there and go on to other devices should I need to. All I need to do is press record. Oh, the other thing I can do if I want to, and I am going to do it actually, is I can mute the other tracks on the timeline. They will still play when I go to record, and if you want that, that's fine, especially if you're doing ADR or you want to kind of get into the scene and record things to line up. Obviously, make sure you're wearing headphones because you want to get as perfect a recording track as possible. But I want it to be silent because I'm just doing a bit of a countdown. I'm just saying three, two, one, five. So I don't need to hear anything really. So there we go. So oh, make sure it goes back to A1. Right, record like that. Okay, so let's try. I'm going to do this completely off the cuff, so hopefully it will go well. Wish me luck. So it's initializing, pre-rolling, and here we go. Three, two, one, fight! And there we go. It's recorded, so let's see how that goes. Let's see how that was. Three, two, one, fight! All right, so that actually doesn't sound too bad. Um, so the first thing I do, I'm going to go to toggle audio levels. And I'm going to turn it up a little bit. There we go, because once all the music and stuff gets its claws into it, it's going to be quite loud. So let's listen to it again. Three, two, one. The other thing you can do three so also once this is done this is now just a normal clip like it would be anything else so in fact you can just click up here and rename it so let's just call this countdown take one and then even if i delete this off the timeline that will still exist in our project there so if i delete it it will always exist in our clip manager up there but what i'm going to do now is I'm going to use some effects. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to plonk a compressor on there just to bring it up a little bit louder. So let's try that again. Three, two. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Let's add a bit of reverb on it. Three. Oh, that room is way too big. Two. 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 One. One. Oh, that sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah, and then the, as a little last thing, I'm going to add a voice enhancer. One of the presets here we have built into Lightworks. So let's see how that sounds. Three, 
two, one, fight! I really like the sound of that. Okay, so now let's just turn back on all of the sounds and let's see how it all plays together. told you the fighting was a bit disappointing but there you go that's how easy it is to make voiceover in lightworks with the simple click of a button